Hello everybody, Domino Mule here, and welcome back to another episode of One Shot. Last episode, Cedric got trapped in the lab. We, uh, got some more depressing s Oh. Uh, disregard what I said about Cedric getting trapped in the lab. Huh? <gasps> you guys are okay? Yep. When the factory started collapsing, I really thought we didn't have a chance. Fortunately, the robot assembly rooms were built pretty tough. And it actually did not take me long to bring Proto back. All thanks to Father's book. He had made my design documents to be compatible with the assembly machines there. I feel like I gave the profit bots a little bit of a less robot-y voice. All he had to do was scan in the blueprints and reconfigure some machine settings. Father really does think of everything. That he does. I'm just glad everyone is okay. Same! We're ready to go now, Nico. I still don't know what that timer above the door means. Oh, there is... this is... No wonder he wanted us to all be here for this. Um, what are these things, anyway? Code portals. They temporarily remove us from the world. What? It's a bit hard to explain, but basically, my father has hidden a decryption key in our code with a .txt file as its shell. Huh? But to get to them, we have to be removed from the world and decompiled. When our keys are combined into a central location, it will activate an encrypted part of this world, which will... Meow? <laughs> Confused cat noises. Rue, maybe it's better if you explain. I'll attempt. Basically, these portals all represent a physical location on Damo's machine. What? Don't hack my computer. Oh. And when we enter these portals, we will be sent to that location. Wherever that is. I'm sure Damo is already pretty familiar with retrieving puzzle pieces from this world on their computer. But this time, Dama would need to move around some things as well. What? <laughs> Specifically by moving the keys from the small portal to the big one. I don't know what happens next, though. I see. Does Dama know where these portals lead, at least? Uh, you should probably ask Dama on this. Uh, right. Hold on. Ah, oh, the book. The journal is going again, Damo. <laughs> okay. So... Okay, let's all place the people on the, on the pedestals. And just to make sure, yes, documents my game's one shot. So, let's let's go to that. Documents my game's one shot. So, um I'm going to take a capture with the snipping tool just to show you what this looks like without having to show my whole file bar, which is probably dangerous on the internet. And also, I don't want to show my entire files. So basically, this is what the inside of the one-shot folder looks like. Um, I don't know why I'm saying this as if I already have it. Uh, well, 
no, I can save as uh OS uh OS portal and I'll save it in the metagame images folder that I have for editing this later. But okay, fine, I'll pull up this image on OBS. So um yeah, I can get rid of that capture, that window capture. So I'm going to post this image on OBS and what this looks like is uh yeah. So this is what this looks like. The inside of uh my folder. So I have portal 1, portal 2, portal 3. And Inside, I have the sprite sheets. Um, and I have a note that I can open that says... <sighs> okay. <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. So inside each respective portal... I have the character profile picture for the dialogue. I have their sprite sheet. And then I have a notepad file that says key G, key G, key, key B, or key R. Um, so, um, let's just open up the notepad. It says, put me in the big portal. Cool. Actually, I can show this one. So let's just get rid of this image. And then I'll show the, the window capture of the file. So yes, down, it says, put me in the portal. Cool. Um, so... I suppose what I'm going to do is highlight all portal 1, 2, and 3, um, cut, and then paste, and that should be good. <laughs> Okay, so now that they're in the big portal. Oh, you know what? Um. I am going to. Uh. Cut, paste inside the big portal and not have them in their respective... Actually, no. Isn't there another way to do this? Can I, like, just remove everything within a folder? How do I remove stuff within a folder? Like, easily. Don't worry, this is helping me. Um, helping me learn how to navigate files. Um. So select all. Move. Hmm. Now where's the big portal? So, okay, fine. So I'm going to move all these images. I know you can't really see this, but basically from the first image I showed you, I... (laughs) 
Oh, my game's one shot. Big portal. Move. Now, let's do the same for portal two. Oh, what's going on with the game? Okay, so I am doing it right. So I'm going to do the same thing again with uh, the second NPC, Cedric. So choose location, big portal. Okay, I did it. Now for the third one. So what I did wrong was I put the actual like folders inside the big portal folder, but I'm supposed to put the stuff inside the small folders inside the big portal folder without the folders separating them. Um, okay, yes. And that should be good. Oh, yeah, that's good. That game. I needed to click into the game. So... I don't know what I did with those three NPCs. I guess I just removed them from the game entirely, and now they're in my folders. <laughs> now they're in my computer. What? Huh? What's this? Oh, there you are. That was quite peculiar. I'll say. Hmm. Did you look at my secret folder? If you looked at my secret folder, I will kill you guys. <laughs> it's alright guys, I don't have a secret folder. Um, but I do have a desktop and I don't want to share my folders on screen, because that's weird. Hey, this is... I mean, it's just to avoid any potential hackers or whatever even though nobody watches these videos anyway. The World Machine! The World Machine? Whoa! This is my father's study. It feels like he's still here, doesn't it? Like he's still with us. Yeah. Hmm. The room ahead doesn't really lead anywhere, but Damo should still remember what to do here. This place contains a lot of memories. I'm grateful to see it again. <laughs> okay. We're getting into this metagame shit again, huh? Metagaming my ass off. Um. Okay. I am going... Before I do that, I'm going to remove the other visual sources and OBS and then close. Now to open it back up again. You've played you played for ten hours. Would you recommend this game to other players? Yes, Steam, I would. Post review, no thanks. Wow. Hmm? So we're getting a dream sequence even though I closed out. Huh. Oh! What? Where are we? I don't know, you tell me! <laughs> Oh, this is like all the monitors of like images of the world of the game. This is like giving me huge earthbound vibes. Uh, what? What? Where do I go? Where am I going? Huh? I don't understand any of this. Okay, so it's just a staircase going back and forth. It's just very weirdly telegraphed. 
Where am I? Oh, God, gotta run. <laughs> uh, no, 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 please don't. Please don't kill Nico. <gasps> huh? Hmm. Nico. Oh? Relax. I'm just borrowing... Oh. I think this is the author. I'm just borrowing your reflection to talk to you. It's not like my physical form is good for that. Ah. <sighs> Wait, is this the author? Why did you come here? Can't you see? The disruption, the squares. They're closing in. Nico, please. Get out of here. Let me meet my end in peace. This is the world machine. The world machine? Hmm. The squares are blocking my way too, you know. Oh. Uh, I... I'm sorry, but... It's alright. Uh... No living being should be in this place, Nico. Is this... The tower? But part of it. This is the center of the engine. Inside my head, so to speak. Huh. So this is... The center of the world machine. Know my original name. How? Rue, Cedric, Prototype? They all told me bits and pieces. I'm not even sure if I even understood a lot of the stuff they said, but I know what you're supposed to be. I know why you had to be built. And I know why I'm here. They told you? When? Wait, you don't know about that? But I thought you were... the world. Aren't you supposed to... see... everything? No. All this was outside of the protocol. This session was never supposed to happen the way it did. The story wasn't written into my protocol at all. Oh, right. Ruth told me something about how your creator had to alter the code. I think it was to connect some areas together so that we can meet. Huh? My creator, yes. Damo, listen to my creator. They were all working beyond my scope of influence. Back at the mines, I remember. Damo did something to find a hidden map. I did not even recognize it. <laughs> I couldn't see anything there. Huh? I just knew what you were feeling. You were really upset. Something happened in there to make you upset. After that, I... I panicked. That was when the cave-in happened. I... I remember the structure collapsing. If I thought you got hurt, I... In the moment, I really thought I was shutting myself down for good. I really am a flawed machine, aren't I? <sighs> what kind of machine would go against the wishes of its own creator? What kind of machine would... I'm... Hmm? The squares. Rue told me it was your own code going bad. But that's not really your fault, is it? Yes, it was! At first, it was intentional. During testing, long before he realized I was self-aware, I would rearrange specific parts of the code, jumbling up bits and pieces of the landscape. Blocking passages, collapsing catwalks. Though they were very localized, it caused my creator a great deal of frustration, forcing him to exit and restart testing again and again. Why would you do that? I got curious. I just thought he would figure it out eventually. But before he knew how to fix it, 
the world's NPCs, the characters. Some of them got too close and... It spiraled out of control after that. I couldn't contain it at all. My panic only made it worse. Eventually, any character who gained the knowledge of who I am, their code, my code, couldn't handle it. Previous iterations of the world had more people, you know? Huh? And I almost endangered my creator, too. I... I was... I was so scared, Nico. I know, you're upset. Because you don't want to put living people in danger. Living people like me. Huh. <sighs> in the beginning, I tried to fight it, but... My core programming made me summon you here. I tried to send you back home at the tower, but it didn't work. Then I wanted you to break the sun. I thought that would have worked, but... Oh, I had no way to be sure. <sighs> but Damo brought you back anyway. Nico, all I want is for you to wake up back in your world. But I don't think I can make it happen. But I know why I can't go home without saving the world for real. Which means we had to fix the root of the problem. We had to fix you. But that's... I know the original ending your creator put in was a happy one. Do you remember what it's supposed to be? It's far too late for that. That part of my code has been long corrupted. That's okay. I would still like to know. Alright. You were supposed to place the sun at the summit. And then, credits would scroll. Credits? And then, you would return to the room you woke up in. That's where you would have been able to leave. And why is it that you can't do it now? Nico, the code's gone, remember? Shattering the sun was only supposed to be a workaround. I don't even remember the original code enough to describe it. But at the same time, it... Oh, I don't know. It sounds like you're always fighting yourself. You can tell, huh? It's the whole thing about conflicts in your code, isn't it? I am a machine, Nico. Machines are built with the fundamental law, which is... Never let a living being come to harm. Oh, wait, no, that was Nico. You knew. My very existence conflicts with that law. I thought... The life of a living being like you is so unique. So precious. This fake world isn't worth that risk. But the people here, I think they are... They are code too, you know this. Their behavior all derived from a predetermined matrix of actions. All extensions of my own programming. You cannot act outside of it. You, though, you're the only person who's actually real here. That's why... It's pointless to put you in danger to save them. To save me. I don't think that's true. About the people I know. You said this session wasn't in your code, right? Yeah. So if this session wasn't supposed to happen, if even you didn't know what to do, how would the characters, how did the people... Know how to respond. Huh? I... You said it yourself. When you didn't know what was happening, you kind of just stopped working for a while. So how did the people know what to do to help me get here? Even if it meant getting hurt themselves? <sighs> Even if it meant messing up their own code? You might not think they are real, but there, there's something real in them. <sighs> and if they're all supposed to be extensions of your code, then there must be more to your own programming than you know too. <sighs> Can you try?
tried to put me through the ending. The one you described. How many times do I have to say this? That code is gone. It's all squares now. I'll just put you in danger. I'll risk it. I remember. Ruth said the world was never designed to put me in danger. Your creator wouldn't want that. And I trust you, too. Even if your code is broken. You can. Still go outside that code, right? I can't. I'm not tamed. Yes, yes you are. You talk just like the tamed robots I know. The robot lady prototype. <sighs> Taming is when a real person cares about you, right? It's when a real person thinks you're real too, right? Well, guess what? I do. And I know Damo does too. Even though you told them they only had one chance, they found a way back, didn't they? Why do you think Damo would keep coming back? Huh? Why, why do you think Damo would restart even after the ending? I think Damo wants to save the both of us. So please, give me a chance. I... don't know. I've never done this before. I... I'm scared. You can do it. I know you can. You've helped me come this far. Oh, I'll, I'll try. I can't promise anything, but... Here, take the sun. I'll try to remember the lost code. And recreate it. Uh, but for that to happen... Nico, you need to navigate through this room. You need to get past the squares somehow. Oh, I don't like this. What if you get hurt? It's fine, it's fine. I'll I'll try to be careful, okay? I could do this. <sighs> uh, hey, Damo, did you see that? The square's just It just happened again. I think Something is making them go away. Come on, let's try the rest. Oh. Okay. Huh. Damo, I think it's working. Nika was right. I might actually be tamed after all. I... I remembered what the code was supposed to be. Only bits and pieces, but I can remember. And I'm trying to fill in the blanks, too. And I'm restoring the original ending as we speak. Nico will be able to reach the Tower Summon at the, at the end of the credits. After replacing the sun, Nico will go back to where it all began. And then, Nico will be able to go home from there. But, this is permanent. After Nico wakes up back home, this world would only exist as a memory. For Nico, a dream, like thousands of other dreams. For you, a story, like thousands of other stories. But as long as Nico remembers this place, as long as you remember this place, it'll be alright. I was able to restore some other elements, too. The characters, the people that were lost on Nico's journey. They're all in the next room. I would have put them back where they belong, but... Not yet. <laughs> I think Nico should see them again, first. Please, say goodbye to Nico for me. Aww. Aww.
Messiah? Robot lady! You're... okay? I... I think so. The last thing I remember was the squares closing in on me. But then I ended up here, unscathed. Is that so? This is such a strange room. We can't be in the tower, can we? I'm actually not sure myself. Where did you come from, anyway? The room where the world machine was. Pardon? I think the world machine is trying to remember, now. The code that went bad. I think it's restoring it all. That must have been why the squares were going away, Damo. And it's why you're here, miss. I think the world machine was able to recover your code, too. World machine, huh. Oh, I'm not sure if I should tell you this, but... What's that in the distance? Looks like a few more people are showing up. Oh! Are they people you know? It's a bit too far to tell. Come on, Damo, let's take a closer look. This game is so awesome. Hello. Hi! I cannot move. Oh, yeah. I guess there's no water here. It's fine. The head engineer can help me later. Soundtrack. Oh, this game, I love it. Hello, Messiah. Plant lady, but I thought you... I thought you... It wasn't even squares that did it. <laughs> huh? No. I just wanted to see you both again. I just wanted to say thank you. Mechanics concept. Ooh. Off you go, Messiah. This game is really good. I love it. I, I don't know how it would rank if I were to rank this game on a list of my favorite games ever. I mean, it's probably in the top 100, maybe top 50, um, but <laughs> this game is definitely one of those games that sticks around with you uh, for a long time, because it's just one of those games, like, like I feel like this is kind of like an alternate reality where, like, if Undertale didn't become so popular, it would kind of have, like, a reputation like this, or, like, an impact like this, because, oh, okay, Undertale's kind of naive, it's kind of stupid comparison, although you can kind of see the Undertale in this game. It's just... I feel like this game is so good because... It's... Like a cult classic game, in a sense. Like, you'll hear about it every once in a while, but you won't know what it is. And, like, the fan- I don't know anything about the fan base of this game, but, I mean... Oh. They're fine, Nico. Everyone is fine. The world machine? We'll send them home soon. Oh! Well, Damo says you're not dead. Who? They also said you'll be able to go back to your home very soon. That's even better than- that's even better than Nimmo! <laughs> no, but the character- like, I don't know why I compared this game to Undertale, because it's not really Undertale, it just looks kind of similar. But, like, um... Where am I even trying to go with this whole rant? <laughs> hmm... <laughs> that must be awful. No, no, you're fine. Everyone in this room is fine. You'll be able to go back home soon. Thank goodness gracious. I can't work when I'm dead. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I feel like when I make this LP... Aw, oh, thank you, too. When I make this LP, I'm probably going to put a disclaimer in the beginning. 
saying, hey, play this game for yourself first, because it's just... I feel like this LP didn't do the game justice. I like my own reaction. Well, no, I kind of like it in the sense of, like, playing it blind. Like, that's the whole point of a blind LP. Um, so you get the blind reactions, even if you don't get the best gameplay. There are pros and cons to doing blind LPs as opposed to LPs that where you know the game. But, um... Playing this game blind was definitely the right choice. I just wish I could have captured some of the more meta elements better, but I figured it out later. Um... Ah, oh. But yeah, the character... I, I know. This game is good. This game is awesome. Characters are good. The atmosphere is perfect. The whole interaction between, like, you, the player, versus Nico, Like, yes, it did separate you from the world in a sense, but that's kind of the point. It's meant to make you prove that you can care about a world that is all fictional. It's meant to make you more invested in Nico as a character, because with Nico directly interacting with you, you kind of form, like, a bond, even though Nico is technically a piece of code. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, you feel like you're part of the game, which, in a sense, you really are. <laughs> so... I don't know. I, I mean, if I'm the god of this world, then what are you guys in terms of watching this Let's Play? Are you just, like, spectators? I mean, I don't know. Both of us never really stopped believing in this world. The world machine just needed to realize that, I guess. That sounds like a possibility. Or not. Well, just throwing that idea out there. Well, I don't know what lies beyond the store. Probably just the credits or the ending. But if it is, this is the last you'll hear of me from this episode. So, I'll see you in the next LP. This is the room I first woke up in. Damo? Are you still there? Damo? Yes. Damo! I... I think... I think it worked! It did. The sun is back, and I actually got to see it this time. 
we actually did it. So, what do we do now? I guess I should figure out how to get home from here. Wait. This isn't a door, is it? This looks kind of like one of those portals we saw all the way back in the city. In the room behind the big clock. And... And... I saw a wheat field on the other side. I see my village. I hear my mama. She's looking for me. Uh... Uh, Damo. This... Isn't the first time we've said goodbye, is it? This'll be the last time, won't it? I don't think we'll ever see each other again after this. And what will become of the world? After all we've been through? After everything we've done? I still don't know. This place, these people, won't stop existing. They'll be in your memory. They'll be in my memory, too. I... I promise I'll never forget this world. I promise I'll never forget you, Damo. So take care of yourself, okay? You too. Mm-hmm. Goodbye, Nico. Goodbye, Damo.